Welcome back to Snippet Coder and we are back with another video. In this video, we will learn how to debug our Flutter application like a pro by using the Visual Studio Code and the dev Dart tools. So before starting a video, if, if you are new to our channel, subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified of our latest videos. Thank you. So for doing the debugging in our application, we have to first click on the run. Then we have to click on the start debugging. Here we have to select Dart and Flutter. So it will launch the application in our simulator or if you have connected to a real device, it will open the app in the real device. So now our application has been opened. So now let's start doing the debugging. So for doing the debugging, we have these tool here. So here is the pause button. Then we have our step over. Then we have our step into. Then we have our step out. Here we have the hot reload. Then we have restart. Then we have the stop button. So I will explain all the button when we do start the debugging. So for doing the debugging, first of all, we have to put the debugger breakpoint. So for doing the debugging, we have to put the breakpoints and for putting the breakpoints on any line, we have to click on that line. It will give the right dot sign here that means the debugger point whenever our ab application is a debug mode it will come to that debug point and uh, it will just give us all the debugging details and all so now, now we have to put a debugging on two points first one is here and the second debugging point we have to put here in the get card in the EPS service and that we are putting here so now we will go to our that function and now from here we will reload our application now if we go to the cart you can see here debugger came here so now here we have the options like here is the continue that means if we click here it will just continue and it will go to the next debugging point second one is the step over so what it will do it will just go to the next debugging point that is is in our get card api function and the third one is our step into what it will do if we click here in the step into it will go inside in the state dot copy with and it will give us all the inside detail of what is happening over there so now let's first do with this one step into now if i click here you can see here it is going inside to our cart underscore state class and it will give us all the information but those are not relevant because we in the when we are doing a debugging we just need the main things like whatever the information is required like whatever the response is coming from the API that type of debugging we are mostly required because most of the time these files are auto generated that's why we don't require to go inside to those files so that's why we mostly prefer to use this step over so let's reload the application again and let's do the step over debugging over there so now if I click on the cart here you can see here we are coming here so now if I click here in the step over after executing this line it will just go there in the next line if I click here, it will go inside to the get cut. You can see here, it is came to the get cut here. And from here, if we go to the line by line, then we can just click here in the step into it will do all the line by line. So now here you can see we are getting card data here. So whatever the card response we got from there and we are getting all the information. And so if we want to print this variable, we have to just select here. We have to click here, right click. Then here we have evaluate in the debug console. We will click here. You can see here we are getting all the information here in inside our card data. This one. So we are getting all the information that is our product list. Then we have the cart ID. Then we have the user ID. Then we have the products here. All the information we are getting here. So in this way, you can do the debugging. So now if we click here in the continue, it will execute it, the rest of the code and it will give us the result here. So in this way, you can do the debugging with the help of that Visual Studio code. So now we have our Dart Dev Tools. So now let's understand what these Dev Tools are. Basically, these Dev Tools are is a tooling suit for the Flutter and the Dart developers. So basically, it's have the layout inspection tools, performance tool, memory tool and the many other debugging tools. So how it works, we have to just click here in the Dart Dev Tool and from here, we can click on the open wizard inspector page. It will just open this one. So basically, this is a tool which is used to inspect a UI layout of our Flutter application. So for doing that, we have to just click here in the select visit mode. And from here, we can select any of the layout. So in this way, it will give all the information inside that visit, item visit. And inside that, we have the 
we are using card visit and all the information we can get for that particular visit so in this way it will help us to understand the existing layouts and also it will also help us to fix any of the layout related issues next one we have our cpo profile page so this will help us to record and profile a session from our dart or flutter application for the performance views and all and in this way we can understand the performance of our application with the help of this cpu profiler tool so we can also understand which function is taking how much time and how we can reduce the timing and all next tool is our open memory page so this tool is used to understand how much memory our application is taking and on the basis of that we can also reduce the memory because it will help us to have a better application the device which will not eat a lot of battery of the device so in that way we can just understand how much ram our application is using if it is consuming a lot of ram we can understand from where the issue is and we can just fix those issues on the basis of this information then we have the open network page and this will be used for understanding the api hits and all so let's see so here is our application so now if i click on any of the page which is calling the api hit so from here if i click on any of the page which is doing the api hits so you can see here we are getting the API information which is doing by this page so here there is no result in this hit so let's see in the next request here you can see we are getting another request to the API and if we click here you can see whatever the headers we have which we are sending then we have the response which we are getting getting from the API server and all so in this way also we can understand the network request we are doing in our application that's all about the how the debugging work in our application with the help of the Visual Studio code and also we understand how the different types of tool we have in our dev tools with the Dart dev tools and we understand how we can inspect any of the visit how we can understand the performance of our application how much memory and then we have the network tool also and there we understand how the api calls are going to the server in that way we can understand the what response we are getting from the server and what requests we are sending to a server so that's all in this video i hope you like the video don't forget to subscribe to our channel like comment share i will come back soon with an awesome video thank you for watching the video